first at nine tonight, two days after a 32 year old doctor lost his life hiking near Cave Creek. We're hearing from his wife. She says she tried to get in touch with him throughout the day. And then when he stopped responding, she knew something was wrong. Fox 10's Irene Snyder joins us live with this story. This is absolutely heartbreaking. And when you're talking about a doctor, these are people who certainly should know better. It shows how dangerous this stuff is. Hey John and Christina, good evening. Definitely absolutely heartbreaking. It was about 109 degrees outside that day. They went out. They went out early in the morning, a little before 7 o'clock. This woman says she texted her husband around 11, and after that point, she stopped hearing from him. It's definitely a heartbreaking situation. She's struggling. Her family's struggling, and she is now a single mother, single mother of a little three-month-old girl. Being a dad was the highlight of his life. <laughs> Everything changed for this family of three when 32-year-old Dr. Evan Dishon went for a Labor Day hike with his friends. I felt so guilty that he hadn't had guy time since Chloe was born, so I just asked if he could please turn around once it got hot. The group went to Spur Cross Trail near Cave Creek shortly before 7 a.m. And as the hours passed, Amy got more and more worried. I just wanted to check in. Um, so I asked how things were going and he said, good, it's hot. That's all he said. She tried to contact him and his friends several more times, but that text message was the last she'd ever hear from her husband. I got a call from Cave Creek Hospital letting me know he had passed. I started to scream and scream and scream and scream and she was just screaming, help me, he's dead, help me, he's dead, he's dead. help me, he's dead. And then I collapsed out on the back patio and I, I was still conscious, but it was as if my mind and body completely shut down. Evan leaves behind a three month old baby girl, <coughs> Chloe. <coughs> and Amy says while they didn't get to spend much time here on earth as a family, she'll always cherish those three precious months and he'll forever live on in their hearts. Forever. And I'm going to make sure she knows who her dad was and that he still loves her and he's still with her forever. And there is a GoFundMe page for that family if you want to help them out because their situation has obviously changed very dramatically over the past couple of days. We have a link to that and more information on our website, fox10phoenix.com. Reporting live, I'm Irene Snyder for Fox 10 News.